Did we just discover an alien comet flying through our solar system? And why is NASA suddenly laying off thousands of scientists? This month in space has been wild. Let's break it all down. Let's start with the discovery that has the entire astronomy community buzzing. On July 1st, 2025, NASA's Atlas Telescope in Chile discovered comet 3I Atlas, the third known object from beyond our solar system. A team, including University of Oxford astronomer Matthew Hopkins, estimates the object to be up to 7 billion years old, possibly 3 billion years older than the solar system itself. Traveling at over 130,000 miles per hour on a hyperbolic, unbound orbit, the sun cannot capture it. It's simply whizzing through like a cosmic messenger. And the timing couldn't be more perfect for science, as the Hubble telescope was able to image it on July 21st, and is scheduled to perform an ultraviolet spectroscopy in November 2025 to analyze its gas emissions. At the same time, the James Webb Space Telescope will observe it in August and December to help determine its chemical makeup. This is a rare chance to study building blocks from outside our solar system in stunning detail. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. NASA is undergoing what many describe as an existential crisis. On July 21st, 2025, 287 current and former NASA employees, including scientists and astronauts, signed the Voyager Declaration, warning that proposed budget and staff cuts are compromising safety and threatening the agency's mission integrity. The White House's fiscal 2026 budget request forecasts a 24% cut to NASA's total budget trimming it from about $24.8 billion down to $18.8 billion, the steepest single year drop in recent history. Science funding alone would be slashed by 47% down to just $3.9 billion, risking key projects like Mars Sample Return, New Horizons, Juno, and the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope. Coupled with this, NASA is slated to lose over 2,100 senior specialized staff members and roughly 3,870 employees overall through forced retirements or deferred resignation programs. That's nearly 20% of its workforce. The good news is that Congress is fighting back. Some Senate appropriations proposals aim to fund NASA science at around $7.3 billion, restoring it to fiscal year 2025 levels. However, the final outcome is still very much up in the air. While NASA deals with budget drama, the rest of the world is doubling down on space exploration. On July 25th, Thales Alenia Space and the Italian Space Agency signed a contract under NASA's Artemis program to build the Multipurpose Habitation Module, a permanent 10-year design human outpost scheduled for 2033 launch. We're talking about a permanent lunar base here, people. And South Korea just threw their hat into the ring in a big way. They unveiled plans to land a rover by 2032, followed by building a lunar base by 2045, and get this, a Mars lander by 2045. Meanwhile, the Axiom Mission 4 crew safely splashed down off of the coast of California aboard the SpaceX Dragon Grace on Tuesday, July 15th at 4.31 a.m. Central Time, after 18 days on the ISS. The mission was historic because it included astronauts from India, Poland, and Hungary, marking each nation's first mission to the space station in decades. We also had a close call in July that reminded us why planetary defense matters. Asteroid 2025 OW, about the size of a commercial airliner, flew by Earth at roughly 47,000 miles per hour, passing safely at about 393,000 miles away. NASA emphasized that such flybys are common and under constant monitoring, but it's always a good reminder that we live in a cosmic shooting gallery. There's also exciting news about Earth monitoring technology. A new space-based NISAR radar system was announced by NASA and the Indian Space Research Organization that can track ground displacement, including earthquakes and landslides, with millimeter precision. This could revolutionize disaster preparedness worldwide. Here's a recap of everything that we unveiled today. The discovery of 3i Atlas adds to growing evidence that interstellar visitors might be more common than we thought, and each one 
is a time capsule from the early universe. NASA's budget crisis shows that space exploration has become increasingly political, but international cooperation is stronger than ever. Countries like Italy, South Korea, and India are stepping up to fill any gaps, ensuring that human space exploration will continue, regardless of what happens with any single agency. And that's it for July, but August is already shaping up to be just as exciting. We've got new rocket launches, more news on that interstellar comet, and maybe even the first images from Nissar. So make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell so you don't miss next month's update. This has been Carlos Gonzalez for Cosmo Knowledge. See you soon.